Last week in the markets, we got more trade war, more tariffs, and an interest rate cut, but this week's In Focus is on Spotify. This is the Silver Reports In Focus, where we take a look at a company, companies, or markets that made Wall Street's new cycle to determine sentiment and decide whether we should be buying, avoiding, or holding. Wall Street and Main Street have a problem. Maybe not a problem, but a bias. A bias for words. Words that when spoken or heard flips a switch and causes both streets to overvalue or overreach on investments. We experienced this two years ago in the middle of Bitcoin's run to $19,000 when blockchain became the buzzword of the time. The Long Island brand beverage company was a struggling beverage operation. After a press conference where they announced the name change to the Long Blockchain Corporation, the company's stock exploded from $2.44 per share to a high of $9.49. The stock currently trades at 31 cents. That was an extreme example, but many companies during that time received a bit more attention than they deserved by incorporating blockchain in their name or tagline. Technology is another one of those buzzwords. Add the word technology to a company's name and it adds a little bit of something to a company's profile. And I believe Spotify technology is currently benefiting from this. When investors see technology attached to a company's name, we make assumptions. We assume that the company is capable of continually creating tech and leveraging that tech to its benefit and the benefit of its shareholders. Continually is the key word in that last sentence. Spotify has done a great job with their algorithms. At one point or another, I've subscribed to Rhapsody, now known as Napster, Amazon Unlimited, Google Play, Spotify, Tidal, and Apple Music. Spotify was and is the best at curating new music for me to listen to, and not just finding new music but new music I would end up liking enough to add to my own playlist. Because of Spotify's algorithms, artists I didn't know existed on Thursday, I become big fans of by Friday evening. But what's next? Where's the other technology? What else does Spotify have to offer? I've always seen two roads ahead for Spotify as a publicly traded company, and neither one of those were streaming music exclusively. The first road I saw for Spotify, in addition to streaming music, was that they would create mobile games that were centered around music. Apps that could be another source of ad revenue and push users back to Spotify. The other road I pictured for Spotify was that they would clean up their balance sheet, lower their debt load, and make themselves a takeover target. They have cleared up their debt, so who knows, they could possibly be a takeover target in the future. What put Spotify in focus this week is their earnings report. Spotify's recent quarterly earnings report for Q2 2019 wasn't a bad one. The company reported 1.6 billion euro in revenue, almost 32% higher than Q2 2018. Ad supported revenue came in at 165 million euro, which was higher than expected. Spotify also reported 108 million premium users, which was right in the middle of expectations. But Spotify still reported a net loss. The company still can't generate profits. Revenue for Q3, though, is expected to be between $1.7 and $1.9 billion, which, if they hit on the low end, would still represent 30% year-over-year revenue growth. I don't think Spotify is a bad company, I just think they're in an unfair fight. The two major names in streaming are Apple and Spotify, but it's an industry that many are involved in. Tidal and Napster are streaming, Google has YouTube Music, and Amazon has Amazon Unlimited. Then there are the dozens of streaming services that we don't hear about regularly. Did you know there are streaming services just for the classical music listener? If this were a fight of pure play music streaming service versus music streaming service, I'd likely pick Spotify, but it's not. Apple, Amazon, Google do other things. Music is a hobby to those companies, while Spotify is all in on just music. Spotify is fighting the tech giants with a slingshot and a stone, and that's a tough battle to win. Ultimately, Spotify needs to add some additional tech to their offering because music streaming on its own will get them but so far, which I believe is where we are now. What would I do? If I owned Spotify, I would hold it. I wouldn't add to my position. I like the company. I like the battle they've put up so far, but I think they're overmatched. There are talks of Spotify signing artists directly to the service, something I didn't touch on in the article. The idea, along with other moves, could help the company reach profitability and be a major driver for the company and the stock, but operating as a record label isn't the sole kicker to make Spotify a profitable company or a major player in tech. But I'm keeping an eye on Spotify just in case they decide to add some additional tech or even tech related investments to what they're already doing. Thanks for watching and checking out this week's In Focus. So what do you think? We know Spotify is a great service, but do you think it's a good investment now? Tell us why or why not in the comments below. Thanks again.